Hey, my brothers and sisters. I'm back because I had a really cool dream last night that I want to share with you all. Um, but before I say anything, can we please start with prayer? Heavenly Father, we come before you, O oh Lord, and we praise you and we give you all the honor and glory today, God, because you alone are holy and righteous, Father in heaven. We thank you so much for sending our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, into this dark world, Father. And even though the world rejected him and did not know him and hurt him, God, he still laid down his life for us that we may know, that we may know you, God, and to be the sacrifice for sins once and for all. We thank you, God, that it is his blood that cleanses us from all of our iniquities, from all of our sins, God. We thank you that because of his precious blood, Father, we can come before you and speak with you, God, and ask you for mercy and ask you for strength. And I thank you that the Holy Spirit is here with us in this moment. I thank you that he is with me, God. I feel the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you so much that you are strengthening me, God, every single day and that you are helping all of us in this journey with you, God, because without you, Lord Jesus, we can do absolutely nothing. But with you, we can do all things, Father, for you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, Father. So we just magnify you, Lord Jesus, and we put you on high, God. We praise you. We give you all, all the glory right now, God. And right now, God, I just plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this video. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ, God, over my mouth. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over my heart and mind. Oh, God, I just, I submit all my emotions and opinions to you, Father. And I, I pray, dear God, that I would decrease as you increase in me, Father God. In the name of Jesus, let your Holy Spirit come and hover over me. Let your love come, oh Lord, over me that your children that are listening right now would feel your love through me, Father. And right now, Father, through the mighty name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over every single person listening right now. I plead the blood of Jesus over their ears and hearts, God. And I just pray, God, that you would send healing to them, God, that your love would touch them today, that, 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 that you would forgive them, Father, from the things that that they may have in their life that are that is not okay with you, God, and that you would give them strength through the power of your Holy Spirit, God, to rid those things in their life, Father. I thank you for each and every one of my beautiful brothers and sisters that is here right now and that has come to my channel and listen to the things that you have given me, Father. I pray that you bless them, that you help them in, in this walk with you, Father, and that you, you comfort them, Father, from whatever it is that is hurting them in their life, God. Oh, Lord, have mercy on us, oh, God. I pray for your love and, 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 and your healing touch of the Holy Spirit to be over my beautiful brothers and sisters right now, Father. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise, King Jesus. We love you. We praise you, King Jesus. We magnify your name. All glory to you, God. All glory to you, King Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay, so um, today is March 10th, 2020. Um, so I guess you could say I had this dream March 9th. Um, actually, before I share this one, I'm going to share one that I had, I guess you could say the night of March 8th and like the early morning of March 9th. So um, this dream, like, um, I didn't really think too much of, but then I had another dream the, the very next night. Um, and I just want to share it with you because I think it's really cool. So basically, um, I was in like this play area, um, kind of like, you know, how McDonald's has like those indoor like um, slides and things like the kids can go and play at. That's kind of what it looked like. And um, I was there and this little girl was really excited and really happy. Um, this beautiful little girl. She was so excited. And she came up to me and she said, Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. And she was kind of like jumping up and down and she was super happy. And then I just asked her, I'm like, well, how do you know that? And um, she said to me, because he told me, he told me. And she was kind of like holding her hand. She was so excited. And that was just really cool. And um, I really felt the Holy Spirit in that dream off of that little girl. Um, it could have been like an angel disguised as a little girl coming to me to tell me. Um, but the dream I had last night was absolutely amazing. And I have to share it with you guys. Um, I've never had a dream like this before. Um, and it, I remembered it this morning as I was, um, I was writing back to a sister in Christ that emailed me and I was kind of reading through some scriptures and, um, like e going to email them to her and this came to remembrance and I'm just, it's so exciting and I really want to share it. So basically, um, forgive me, I'm kind of recovering from a cold right now. 
um, so sorry if I'm sniffling and I sound kind of funny, but um, so I was just, I was in this room, and you can't really see, but there's a mirror in front of me over there, and in the dream, um, I was with a young child, I don't know who it was, um, I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure it was a little girl. Um, I don't know how I know, but I just I just kind of knew it was a little girl that I was with. And I can see my reflection from over there. Um, so basically, all of a sudden, um, she started to glow. Um, she started glowing. Like she was, like the rapture was about to happen. And it was just, it was amazing. I really, truly can't explain it to you in words. It was kind of like... Um, I don't know, I can't explain it, it was just like all around her started glowing and it was like a bright um, yellowish, whitish kind of glow, it was like so beautiful, it was so radiant um, and then all of a sudden like as I started to notice that she was glowing, I myself started glowing and I noticed it before I looked in the mirror because I could see it around me. And I started to feel lighter. I started to even feel the heaviness of this flesh kind of leave me. And then when I looked into the mirror, I was glowing like, I guess you could say like an angel. And then I just said, it's time. It's time to go home. And that's all I remember. And it was so amazing. I wish that... Um, I could explain to you what that glow was like, but it's really, truly hard to find the words. That's how I, I know it was heavenly. It was so beautiful, my brothers and sisters, and I'm just so excited because I've been praying and praying and asking Jesus to give me a rapture dream because I've had so many people, you know, comment on some of my videos and say that I'm deceived, that we're deceived for believing that there's a rapture. But I've listened to so many teachings and there's also Bible verses that speaks on this. And so I feel as though that the Lord gave me these dreams through the Holy Spirit um, to remind me, to show me not to lose faith, that it's coming, um, even though it might be taking longer than we expect, but it's coming. And I guess the best way I can describe it is you see the way the sun is glowing here behind me. That's kind of how it was like. I was glowing from the inside out, like all my flesh disappeared. I was just glowing and radiant, and it was so beautiful. It's so exciting. Um, and I just want to share a verse for you from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 on what the Bible says about this, because it does speak on this, brothers and sisters. So if you'd like to turn with me, I'm going to be reading from 1 Corinthians 15, and I'm just going to start from verse 35, and the subheading says, in my study Bible, it says the resurrection body. And um, Paul goes on to say, But someone may ask, How will the dead be raised? What kind of bodies will they have? What a foolish question. When you put a seed into the ground, it doesn't grow into a plant unless it dies first. And what you put in the ground is not the plant that will grow, but only a bare seed of wheat or whatever you are planting. Then God gives it the new body he wants it to have. A different plant grows from each kind of seed. Similarly, there are different kinds of flesh, one kind for humans, another kind for animals, another for birds, and another for fish. There are also bodies in the heavens and bodies on the earth. The glory of the heavenly bodies is different from the glory of the earthly bodies. The sun has one kind of glory, while the moon and stars each have another kind. And even the stars differ from each other in their glory. It is the same way with the resurrection of the dead. Our earthly bodies are planted in the ground when we die, but they will be raised to live forever. Our bodies are buried in brokenness, but they will be raised in glory. They are buried in weakness, but they will be raised in strength. Hallelujah. They are buried as natural human bodies, but they will be raised as spiritual bodies. For just as there are natural bodies, there are also spiritual bodies. This is exactly what I was seeing. I'm going to continue from verse 45. And it says, um, the scriptures tell us, The first man, Adam, became a living person. But the last Adam, that is Christ, is a life-giving spirit. 
What comes first is the natural body, then the spiritual body comes later. Adam, the first man, was made from the dust of the earth, while Christ, the second man, came from heaven. Earthly people are like the earthly man, and heavenly people are like the heavenly man. Just as we are now like the earthly man, we will someday be like the heavenly man. What I am saying, dear brothers and sisters, is that our physical bodies cannot inherit the kingdom of God. These dying bodies cannot inherit what will last forever. But let me reveal to you a wonderful secret. We will not die, but we will all be transformed. It will happen in a moment, in the blink of an eye, when the last trumpet is blown. For when the trumpet sounds, those who have died will be raised to live forever, and we who are living will also be transformed. For our dying bodies must be transformed into bodies that will never die. Our mortal bodies must be transformed into immortal bodies. Then, when our dying bodies have been transformed into bodies that will never die, this scripture will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sin? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I just wanted to read that because that is exactly what my dream showed me. Um, I didn't um, see like heaven. I didn't go up in the rapture. It was very quick. Um, it was just like God was giving me a glimpse of what it's going to look like when we get our transformation bodies. And brothers and sisters, this is an encouragement to you to keep fighting the good fight of faith. I know it's hard, but cling to Jesus. Keep praying, keep loving, keep forgiving, keep blessing those that come against you because nothing is worth losing that salvation or losing what is what God has prepared for us, just like the Bible says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard the things that are prepared for us. And that is just a glimpse of, of what God has prepared for us. I'm sure that in that dream, it wasn't even close to how beautiful it's going to be in real life. But God was bl blessed me and, and gave me a glimpse. And I feel like it was just an encouragement to my spirit to just keep following and chasing after God. Um... I just really hope that this encouraged you, brothers and sisters. Keep fighting, keep praying, keep chasing Jesus. He loves you, and it is worth it. It is worth it. It's, that is more amazing than anything we can ever have on this earth, my brothers and sisters. That heavenly body that is awaiting you, my precious brother and sister, it's so amazing and nothing that anyone can give you or you could buy on this earth can ever amount to that. It is so spectacular and beautiful and glorious. Father God, I just thank you so much for all my beautiful brothers and sisters and I thank you for giving me this dream, Father, for it encouraged me. And I pray, God, that it will encourage others that come here and listen to this video. God, I bind the Prince of the Air through the blood of Jesus and I pray through faith, God, that you would lead all the brothers and sisters that need this word of encouragement and that need to hear this. God, that you would lead them to this, to this video. I thank you, God, for giving me the strength to speak on this, God, for I can do nothing without you. Thank you for being here, Holy Spirit. And I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, God, that you comfort all my brothers and sisters and that you give them a bolt of spiritual energy, Father, and that you would increase their faith and hope in you, God, that you would give them the energy to pray and worship you when, when it's hard, God. Comfort us, Father, when we are being persecuted. Give us strength to love those who, who are hateful towards us. Give us the strength, Father, to bless those that curse us. For that is your will for us, Lord Jesus, for we cannot do anything without your Holy Spirit. So I thank you for being here in this moment, God. And I thank you so much for all my precious brothers and sisters that you have led to this channel, God. And I pray that you comfort them today, God. That you would be in their day today. That the Holy Spirit would comfort them in this day and meet their needs. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this encouraged you. Um, I love you so much, and I'm so grateful for you. I'm praying for you. If you need prayer, email me. Um, I I love to chat with you, um, to encourage you with some Bible verses or with prayer. Um, 
I'm just so grateful for what God is doing in my life and for leading you guys here. I really, really am grateful for you and I'm praying all the best for you. And please don't forget that the Holy Spirit is living inside of you. You know, as the Bible says, he, he has transformed our hearts and now he has written on tablets of flesh, which is our hearts. He lives inside of you, my brothers and sisters, and nobody can take that gift away from you. No matter how much persecution you're going through right now, no matter what kind of trial you're going through, no matter how hard it is, my brother and sister, I encourage you, nothing is more glorious than what awaits us, than what's coming for us. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. Cling to Christ, for He loves you. Whatever you are going through, come to Him in moments of prayer and worship. Just take it to the throne through the blood of Jesus. There's so much power in the blood of Jesus. Apply it over your situation and over your life today. I love you so much. Most importantly, our Lord and Savior loves you. He loves you. And until you take your last breath, He is giving you chances to get right. You are so loved. and My prayer is that you would know that today. Thank you so much. I am so appreciative of every single one of you. God bless you and have a wonderful day. In Jesus' name, amen.